I always find this such an interesting part of my job and that's when I use a new tool for the first time and this here, I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. Probably the nicest looking rail saw that I've ever seen. It's like super ergonomic. It almost looks like a supercar. Um, I'm hoping it will run like a supercar too. So this is Hilti's um, battery rail saw. Okay, it's on the new Neuron platform and I have the dust extractor that goes with it as well, which is obviously M-Class. And it's a complete system, obviously, as you can imagine. It's a really, it's a beautifully made saw. Let me just take a little look at the, at the features, for example. It has the blade cover door, which means less dust, is, dust escapes. It's not, and it's safer as well. You can also slide down the integrated um, chip or splinter guard down as well. You can use the rail on or off. So you've got the plus and the minus. So if you're cutting without the rail, obviously use the minus. So anyone's familiar with the rail saw, you know how they work. We have the rail, just put that up to your line and clamp it on. It's really important we clamp it on. It's actually a proper bit of kitchen I'm cutting here. I'm cutting an M panel. I'm cutting through, I'm cutting through the back because if you're going to cut a laminated board or a veneered board, if you can with a circular saw, cut from the back side. So the beauty of this is we'll have a perfect cut on the other side and we'll also be able to see the quality of the cut on this side as well. Also you'll see there's a, just a sacrificial bit of board underneath. All that does is it means that most of the dust is going to get drawn back up because if you don't use a sacrificial board underneath what you're cutting then some of the dust will escape underneath and I'm working indoors and I want all of this dust if possible to go back into that extractor of course. So I'm going to clamp this on I've set the depth to about 22 millimetres, which is roughly what we need here. Well, I mean, it's a piece of cake. It's an absolute breeze. And the cut is, I mean, this is the, this is the face side, the one that's actually going to be seen. And it's perfect, of course, because we're cutting from the other side. And this is the opposite side, which is the side, the other side of the rail. So what we'll do is we'll compare this to the other side, which is under the rail, because that also stops the splinters. So we'll pop that out of the way for a minute out the way and this car is really really nice it's a lovely looking saw it's really well balanced as well let me demonstrate something what i mean about balance let's take off the extractor if you think about the saw and you're pushing it where your arm is you effectively i know it's sitting on something but you still need if it's heavier to one side the, the, the thing will tend to, as you push it, it'll tend to steer in its rails. So you'd obviously adjust these two small adjustments here. When I talk about balance, if I stand a piece of MDF here and I put the center of the saw on that, I wanna make sure that it's, it's as close to center, standing up on its own as possible. So you can see that the overall width of the saw, we're roughly in the middle. And I think that's super important. So it's the sort of thing as a geek, a tall geek, I, uh, I often try to check. So anyway, so that is the SC6WP on the 22 volt Neuron platform from Hilti. First cut I've ever done with it. I'm gonna spend the next few days working with it and the dust extraction. And um, yeah, see how we get on. I'm gonna put it for its paces. It's got loads of MDF to cut up for different things like um, covered doors, linings, and that sort of stuff. I've also got a fiber cement blade as well, which is a brilliant bit of kit if you're doing any kind of fiber cement work. Um, some of, even some of the bathroom panels now, the hard ones, it's really good for that as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video about the new Hilti rail saw. I'm um, looking forward to really putting it through its paces.